Here's a question about a graduated cylinder in my lab. I have one uh, that holds two liters of water. So let me give you a second just to be very impressed by that. Okay, thank you. And uh, it has an internal diameter. That's what ID means. Internal diameter, the part that holds the water, of uh, eight centimeters. So when it's full of two liters of water, I guess it doesn't have to be water. It could be full of ethanol or something. When it's full of two liters of water, uh, what is the pressure at the bottom of the cylinder? So this is what we've been talking about a lot, which is hydrostatic pressure in a column of water. So let's see, here it is, water, you know, the pressure down here. So you know, you use the hydrostatic pressure equation. The pressure there is whatever pressure is on top, P naught, or in this case, uh, the pressure at the top is atmospheric pressure, P uh, atmospheric plus rho GH, the density of the solution, of the, of the fluid times gravity, acceleration due to gravity times the height of the column. So here is the height of the column. So we can start plugging in. Atmospheric pressure is 101.325 pascals. And the density of water in MKS units is 1,000. That's kilograms per meter cubed. And um, gravity is 9.8, that's acceleration, and h. And oh, you might be tempted to plug in 8, but of course, 8 is not the height of the cylinder. And you realize, I don't have the height of the cylinder. Uh, okay, so we're going to use our 8 and our 2 liters to figure out the height of the cylinder. With these fluid problems, you always have to do a little bit of geometry. Right? So anytime you have any shape, and then you translate perpendicular to the shape, to make a volume, that's called a right cylinder. It's called right because you had this shape and you translated 90 degrees to the shape. So the volume of a right cylinder is always the area of the shape times, in this case, the height or the length of the cylinder. So the volume here would be, let me write it over here, and I'll write it down. Uh, the volume would be V is pi times R squared, so that's that area. So that's 0.04 uh, meters is the radius, that pi r squared, times h, which we're looking for. We still can't solve it. We need to know the volume. Oh, we do. Two liters. So we got to convert two liters uh, into an uh, MKS volume, which we can do. Let's see. So two liters is 2,000 milliliters. So that's two, uh, I'll just say this equals 2,000 centimeters cubed. But if we want to do this in MKS, we want to take that centimeters cubed back to meters. So that would be there's 10 to the 6 centimeters cubed in a meter cubed. That's 10 to the 2 times 10 to the 2 times 10 to the 2, 10 to the 6. So we've got to pull this back by 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, so this is actually 0. 0.002 meters cubed. Now this is all MKS worthy here. So if we say this equals that, solve for h, and I wrote it down here somewhere. So that is um, 0.398 meters. So h is 0.398 meters. And as a reality check, is that about how tall a two liter cylinder is? Yes, it's about that tall. So 0.398 right here. And you get, this is 101,000. This other term is only like 4,000. So you say, wait, do I include atmosphere or not? And here you do, right? It said, what is the pressure at the bottom of the cylinder? It didn't say disregard air pressure. It didn't say just due to the water. It just said, what is the pressure? That is the absolute pressure. It didn't say gauge pressure, right? It said, what's the pressure? So you add this 4,000-ish number to that, and it's 105,225. Pascal.